hello dear students welcome back to the session on single plate catch so in the previous sessions we have discussed uh, two problems on single plate clutch design so related to that the particular equation that contains the effective surfaces related to single plate they are two that means both sides are effective that indicates even though it is a single plate clutch the effective surfaces are two here so uh, that may be represented with the notation i or n dash so uh, in the previous case we have calculated power in one of the problem uh, and then in the second problem that we have calculated the unknown diameters that is dimensions of the single plate clutch and also the necessary force required to engage the plates so by here there are two conditions that we have come across one is according to the uniform pressure case another one is according to the uniform uh, wear case so the new clutch is to be considered for by using a uniform pressure case itself and worn out or used clutches they are uh, used with the or they are de designed by considering the uniform wear theory or uniform wear case so in short uh, we are, can use upc for uniform pressure case uh, and uwc for uniform wear case now uh, let us consider uh, another problem on single plate clutch so this is a problem statement where uh, the clutch plate consists of uh, two pairs of uh, contacting surfaces that is nothing but n dash is equal to 2 or i equal to 2 uh, for a torque capacity of so here in this problem the value of torque is given that is capital t in a newton meter so this is to be converted into newton mm so the value is to be multiplied by 10 raised to 3 so that uh, 200 into 10 raised to 3 or 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton mm so due to the limitation of the space the outside diameter of the clutch is to be limited to uh, that is a limitation for the outer diameter is given here that is 250 mm that is what the maximum value so d naught is 250 mm so these are the three parameters they are given here so this is another kind of problem where you don't have the material name used for the friction lining uh, and uh, also the coefficient of friction and the maximum or average pressure anything is not given along with that no case or uh, say either we have to use the uniform pressure case or uniform wear case so that thing is also not specified here so this kind of in this situation you are free to select uh, the suitable material and then uh, you are uh, free to select or uh, design the clutch based upon the either uniform pressure distribution case or uniform wear case so with respect to this kind of problem say here a suitable material is to be assumed initially so the material which is assumed here is leather uh, the, so you have to refer the data handbook to table number 13.4 page number 283 so by referring this uh, table 13.4 of data handbook so there the list of uh, materials used for the friction they are or friction materials are listed or given so with respect to that uh, list you have to select the suitable material so here we are considering leather as the friction lining material or the material used for the friction as a mat friction material and the value for the coefficient of friction that is given here as in the form of a range say 0.3 to 0.5 so, so two values are given here lower value and upper value in between these two you have to select the suitable value and also you may see there uh, in that particular table there will there are uh, two columns one is uh, wet another one is dry suppose if the friction material or the say clutch plate if it is uh, working in a uh, oil so that in that situation we have to consider the coefficient of friction as a uh, wet condition so wet friction coefficient of friction that we have to uh, consider uh, and that value is different uh, with respect that there the value is less if you consider if you compare both the values wet and dry so in case of dry column there that means the particular clutch that is operating in the dry condition so there the value of cof is 0 0.3 to 5 so 0 0.5 so what we have assumed for a dry condition we have assumed the value of coefficient of friction as 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 and also the pressure value that is varying in between 0 0.07 to 0 0.29 megapascal 
megapascal or newton per mm square so by using these two ranges you have to pick the or you have to select the suitable value for mu as 0.4 that is dry condition by assuming the dry condition of the uh, working of single plate clutch and also the pressure value which is assumed here is a 0.135 newton per mm square or megapascal that is the value in between lies in between 0 0.07 and 0 0.29 so these two values that we have to assume by referring the data handbook table number 13.4 page number 283 of Mahadevan data handbook. So the next thing say here the torque transmitted is given capital T that is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per Newton mm and also uh, mean diameter. So mean diameter is not given here but outer diameter is given in place of that. So D naught is given. So by assuming the uniform wear theory, since uh, the wear condition is to be assumed or uniform pressure condition is to be assumed, that is not specified. So we can assume uniform wear theory here. So according to that uniform wear theory, by referring page number 259, equation number 13.9F, so there you have got the expression for mean diameter, dm. So this mean diameter, dm, uh, that is the equation d i plus d naught divided by 2 since d naught value is given here 250 mm so with this uh, particular information so you can get the value of dm in terms of di itself the next thing we have to go for the equation of uh, axial force so axial force uh, for a uniform wear condition and uh, assuming that the given pressure p is maximum pressure so with respect to that the maximum pressure that is acting at the inner diameter so that the value of di is to be used here and equation number 13.9 d page number 258 so by using this equation so here this one is d naught d naught minus di so d naught value is given as 250 mm and di value that is unknown and the di value here also that is unknown but uh, the pressure value p max is 0.135 so after substitution you will be getting the value of fa fa that is axial force as 0 0.212 di into 250 minus di so this is what the equation for fa so this equation that we have to use as a one of the equation for uh, uh, to determine the di value since fa is unknown keep this equation as it is so the next bit so in the next bit uh, we have to calculate the torque value we have to calculate the torque value we have to calculate the torque value so here uh, So here you have got the expression for FA, FA in terms of DI. Next thing that we have to go for the calculation of torque. So we have uh, an equation 13.9E, uh, e, 13.9F it is, sorry, F. So this is the equation F, 13.9F, page number 259. So there you have got the equation of torque T. So this equation that is uh, with respect to the determination of unknown parameter, which is uh, in terms of DI here, that is FA. FA is in terms of uh, DI. So with respect to this, uh, so in this uh, torque equation, so we have got uh, this equation as equation number 13.9F, page number 259 of the data end. So this equation that includes torque T, which is known, mu is known, that we have referred a table and we have got that at value. And the FPA, FPA is in terms of uh, DI. So what is calculated in the previous step. And DM is also in terms of uh, DI. And I, I is nothing but N dash that is equal to so this value is also known. So if you substitute the value of FA in this equation, so that what you get the equation which is resulted here as 2 into 10 raised to 5, this is the torque value and the mu value is 0.4 which is assumed. 
एफ ए वैल्यू पॉइंट टू वन टू इंटू डी आई इंटू ब्रैकेट टू फिफ्टी माइनस डी आई सो विच इज यूज एज एफ ए वैल्यू हियर एंड सो दैट द रिजल्टिंग इक्वेशन सो अगेन डी एम डी एम सो दिस इज इंटू हियर इंटू वन बाई टू इंटू ब्रैकेट टू फिफ्टी प्लस डी आई इंटू टू सो दिस इज डी एम दिस इक्वेशन इज डी एम पैरामीटर इट इज डी एम so this equation is dm so once you get uh, all the values after after substitution you will be getting the expression for uh, what the value of uh, say uh, which is in terms of di right so, so this value is 2 into 10 raised to 5 itself 2 into 10 raised to 5 itself so all these values that you know so this is the value of dm dm is substituted here and fa is substituted here so these are the things that we have substituted and this is the equation which is resulted here or say this value is also to taken to the rhs so that uh, the equation is resulted in the form of um, a cubic equation say this is equal to zero something so by using trial and error method or you can uh, solve this one by using your calculator by using your calculator so di value that is obtained here as 85.46 which is equal to 86 mm so then uh, similarly you get the value of d not d not is already given so get the value of dm dm is equal to di plus uh, d not divided by 2 so you add this and this so the value is divided by 2 that value is dm and then you get the value of axial force so substituting the unknown value of di in the equation so that 86 mm that is substituted and you will be getting the value of di so this is what the thing related to the single plate clutch so this is the another kind of problem what we have to uh, uh, consider right based upon the similar kind or similar cases you solve the problems which are given or listed in the assignment uh, questions so the next uh, clutch is multiplate friction clutch so multiplate clutch means as the name itself indicates here instead of uh, single plate the number of plates they are used on the driving guide and uh, driven shafts respectively so that the number of effective surfaces uh, they are more than two here say in case of single plate clutch there are more than maximum of uh, two effective surfaces because there was the plate is only one uh, even though you will be having two both sides they are effective so that n dash that is uh, equal to 2 but here this is not the case here the value of n dash is more than 2 so the sketch which is given here related to the multi plate friction clutch say here the driving shaft or driving discs they are splined or mounted on the driving shaft and they are having the flexibility to rotate along with the rotation of the driving shaft and they, that is what the flexibility given for the driving discs and driven discs they are housed on the driven shaft by means of a bolt but they are free to slide they are going to slide over the uh, driven shaft as the application of force that is applied and uh, with respect to that if you see the particular sketch there are five effective plates which are given here so totally six plates are there three plates on the driving shaft and three plates on the driven shaft so that so here the value of n dash n dash that is calculated as uh, n1 plus n2 minus 1 minus 1 so this is nothing but the value of n dash but the same thing that we can indicate or denote by using another parameter that is i i is equal to n dash that is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 1 n1 is the number of discs on the driving shaft and uh, these are the n2 that is number of driven discs or uh, the disc which which are used on the driven shaft so this is related to the change in the multiplate clutch and uh, remaining all the things they are similar to uh, the concept of single plate clutch itself only the notation that is differ here so now with respect to the equations which are used in the multiplate clutch they are similar to the single plate clutch and uh, there are here also we have to consider two cases uniform pressure distribution case or uniform pressure theory as well as uniform 
wear theory uniform pressure theory and uniform wear theory so according to uniform pressure theory we have got the equation of a torque as t is equal to 1 by 2 into i into mu it is not mu 1 only mu it is fa into dm so here i is n dash again n dash is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 1 so what is n1 n1 is number of discs present over the driving shaft or you can say directly they are the number of driving discs n2 that is the number of uh, discs present over the driven shaft so you can represent them as number of driven discs directly so the equation 13.9c page number 258 itself that we have to use according to this uniform pressure case so t is equal to n dash 1 by 2 into n dash into mu into f a into uh, dm where i is nothing but f uh, n dash itself and xl force fa is given by pi by 4 into p p is the for pressure acting on the plate or contact surface d naught square minus d i square so this is nothing but a d naught it is not a d2 right so this particular value is uh, d naught d naught square minus d i square so this is what the equation 13.9a available in page number 258 itself. So here I is number of pairs of contacting surfaces, which is nothing but N dash for us. Next equation that is equation based upon the mean diameter. So as we know already in the uh, previous discussion for uniform pressure case, dm is given by 2 by 3 into bracket d naught cube minus d i cube divided by d naught square minus d i square so available in page number 258 as per uniform pressure case uniform pressure case and f a is given by 1 by 4 into uh, pi into p into d naught square minus d i square 13.98 so these equations they are repeated again uh, as similar to that previous discussion itself so again i is n dash now uniform wear theory according to this uniform wear theory we have to make use of 13.9f equation available in page number 259 of the data handbook so the equation is 1 by 2 into i i is nothing but what n dash only n dash and mu is coefficient of friction fa is axial force and dm is the mean diameter so mean diameter is given by d naught plus di divided by 2 just below this equation this equation is printed in the data handbook and fa is given by this equation that is 1 by 2 into pi into pressure p maximum uh, dm into d naught minus di so this is related to the maximum pressure p max it is p max if p max is given then we have to make use of this equation fa right so this is what uh, related to the uh, equations which are to be used uh, in as applied to or uh, with respect to the multiplier uh, friction clutch so with respect to this multiplate friction clutch say take one problem say pro in a, this problem a multiplate clutch having effective diameter 250 mm and 150 mm to transmit set d naught is 250 mm and di is equal to 150 mm these things are given here and 60 kilowatt of power is to be transmitted by uh, through the particular shaft rotating at 1200 rpm and in addition to that the end thrust is 4.5 kN so that is nothing but the axial force exerted on the clutch is given as 4.5 kN which is equal to 4500 newtons and in addition to that the COF coefficient of friction between the lining or the friction contact surfaces is given here as 0.08 so we have to calculate the number of pairs uh, assuming uniform wear case and uniform pressure distribution on the plates so i that is equal to n dash that is equal to question mark that's what we have to find out so now by using uh, the concept of uh, uniform wear case and the uh, uniform pressure distribution case we have to proceed with the calculation part now here we know the power distribution equation so with this equation p equal to 2 pi nt into uh, divided by 60 into 10 raised to 6 so here t is the unknown value so this itself that we have to calculate by using or by modifying the equation so this is to be taken to the uh, lhs so p into 10, 60 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 2 pi into n n is 1200 rpm 
so this is what the value of torque t that you get here so once you get the torque value so consider one of the theories first say uniform wear theory is taken into account so with respect to this uniform wear theory we have to use mean diameter equation d not is given di is given so the mean diameter value is 200 mm so substitute in this equation say since torque value is calculated and that is taken from here and the dm value is also calculated only the thing that is unknown value is uh, fa so this value is unknown so this value that we have to determine and this value is also given and this value is uh, also unknown here so this value is n dash which is unknown and fa fa is also given so fa is equal to 45 kilo newton that is given so fa is equal to 45 into 10 raised to 3 that is 45000 newtons is given so this value is known sorry 4.5 kilo newton so that value is given here so by using uh, that value 4.5 kilo newton so you can uh, substitute the values here in the respective equation so that uh, you will be getting the uh you will be getting the value of uh, unknown number of uh, plates that are to be used so here you, the i value is the only unknown parameter so that i after simplification 13.26 and uh, that should be an even number that is 14 so that value is equal to 14 is the n dash n dash r i so we, by using this equation say total number of plates is equal to n dash plus 1 because n1 plus n2 be the total number of plates so therefore this is equal to uh, the equation of n1 plus n2 it is n1 plus n2 is equal to 14 plus 1 that is equal to 15 that is total number of plates and number of effective surfaces are 14 n dash it is so once you use all these things the next bit that is to cal consider is uniform pressure distribution case so according to uniform pressure distribution case similar to the previous method itself so dm mean diameter of the uh, plate is equal to 2 by 3 into d not cube minus di cube divided by d not square minus di square by using equation number 13.9 c so you will be having the value of dm so that dm is to be used here and the t value is also known n dash that is the only unknown parameter fa is also known mu is also known so fa mu and the dm and along with that uh, the value of torque t so here also you will be getting the value of n dash as 12.99 so since it is to be a even number therefore it is 14 so the total number of plates that gives the again the same value as 15 so after this uh, the next problem that is uh, multi plate clutch of uh, alternate bronze and steel plates bronze and steel plates so one is related to the driving another one is related to the driven transmits 6 kilowatt power and at 800 rpm the inner radius is uh, 38 mm and outer radius is 70 mm see here the dimensions they are respect given are specified in the form of uh, uh, radii items ri and r not the cof is uh, 0.01 0.1 and maximum pressure maximum pressure is given here as 350 kN per meter square so you have to find out axial force total number of discs n dash and average pressure p average and actual maximum pressure p max so these are the things that we have to calculate here so by using uh, the given information say p is 60 kw and uh, uh, n is 800 rpm and along with that ri 38 mm so that di is equal to 76 and uh, r not is 70 so two times of 70 that is d not that is 140 mm and uh, mu is equal to 0.1 given p is equal to 3, 350 kilo newton per meter square conversion that gives the value in terms of newton per mm square as 0.35 and uh, by using equation 13.9d page number 258 according to the uniform wear case so the maximum uh, axial force at the maximum pressure because of maximum pressure so that is at the di at the internal uh, diameter or inner radius 
so with respect to that here we have to make use of equation number uh, 13.9d so this value is a maximum pressure which is given which is given here maximum pressure itself and the fa that is to be calculated so fa value that you get here as 2674.12 newtons and by using power equation p is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 16 to 1000 so here we have to get the value of torque t so torque t value is 71625 newton mm now by using the uniform wear theory uh, the next parameter that is required here is dm mean diameter of the uh, plate so mean diameter once you get that mean diameter you have to substitute in the equation 13.9f page number 259 of data handbook since all the values they are known uh, torque t is known mu1 mu is known fa is known dm is known only the term n dash is unknown here that is number of uh, unknown plates so with uh, this information say we have to calculate the number of uh, discs that are required that is equal to 6 4.96 you get there so but it is to be a even number that is equal to 6 now number of uh, driving discs that is the number of uh, steel discs that is equal to n1 that is equal to n dash by 2 n dash by 2 so by using uh, this equation say n dash by 2 so you will be getting the value of n1 number of discs on the driving plate uh, sorry driving shaft and number of driven that is bronze bronze i is related to the driven discs so this is equal to n1 plus 1 that gives the value of 4 so usually driven driven shafts or driven plates or the uh, clutch plates or the plates mounted on the driven shaft they are more as compared to the plates mounted on the uh, driving shaft that is by 1 itself so that uh, the total number of uh, plates they are present uh, they are how much equal to 7 so that is equal to total number of plates it is but active number of uh, friction surfaces are 6 n dash so then we have to calculate the remaining parameter such as axial force and uh, average pressure uh, so these are the things that are to be calculated and after that uh, there is one more problem uh, so on multi-plate clutch itself so that is also as uh, similar to the previous problems what they are discussed that we have to uh, follow the procedure and calculate the things so this uh, completes the multi-plate friction clutch and uh, in the next session uh, i will start the next uh, bit that is the next bit of this module that is uh, related to the calculation of uh, or design of brakes thank you